I'm Brittany Johnson with EastIdahoNews.com. In between Rigby and Idaho Falls sits Yukon, a place that's so tiny if you blink, you just might miss it. I sat down with Vernon Hill, the oldest man in Yukon, as well as Karen and Cheryl Landon, who are the authors of the book Yukon, A City Lost, A City Found. Here is what they had to say about Yukon. Yukon was a pretty good town. It had a grain elevator that made flour. Yellowstone Special was its name. And they hauled it all over the, around the states. There was another grain elevator, Midland Elevators. There was a potato warehouse and a beet dump. Farmers used to bring their wagons loaded with beets and dump it in the beet dump and that'd go into the rail car and then it'd go to the sugar factory. During the days when Yukon was known as Willow Creek, the major part of town was on the east end of the area and there were lots of options people had to keep them entertained. There was a amusement hall. That's one of the first buildings that they built is just some place to gather and dance and have plays and just enjoy each other's company. There was a mercantile store down there and then also the Black Marie. They had drinks in there. There was a movie house, drugstore, a dairy place where they bring their cream. And there were two hotels. So there was a real variety of different kinds of buildings. But then the railroad built tracks in towns like Roberts and Manan, and that made the population in Yukon dwindle. Some businesses went out and buildings were torn down. Everything's all gone. Yukon isn't the same. The people are good. I want to stay here in Yukon as long as I live. I've been here 90 years and I'm 93 years old. And if I live to be a hundred, I want to be here in Yukon. Although Yukon is not what it once was, those who live here are proud to say we are East Idaho. I'm Brittany Johnson with EastIdahoNews.com.